I think that this talk is actually very important for SMEs. Don't you think so, Mr. Daniel Steinman? No, certainly. Yeah, very important topic for them to listen to. And of course, uh, if you are tuned in right now and you're listening to us, you can, of course, uh, tell your friend that is, uh, you know, an SME to tune in to um, economist.com.na where they will find this talk so that they can learn from Mr. Daniel. And maybe he can also become their financial advisor. But <laughs> we are talking about productivity and the important role it plays in the economy as well. And and uh, the link between productivity and inflation, where is the link? Also, if you give financial advice <laughs> and you're not registered, Namfisa will come and lock you up. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, don't say dangerous things no, like that. No, of course that. you can go register. You can do all that. If um, you are in a very low productivity economy like Namibia. Mm. I mean, we uh, remember I said in the beginning, I cringe if I think of the word appalling, but productivity in Namibia is really appalling. Yeah. You know, and I've spent the last 10 minutes to explain the positive side of what is seemingly a negative thing. Mm. The fact that it is, when the productivity is low, it is so much easier. The, the potential gains mm. are so much bigger. Mm. And that word that I've used, potential, I don't use it lightly. Yeah. Because productivity, when you talk about productivity on a scale of 0 to 100, you're talking about the potential of the economy. Yeah. So if you want to increase, if you're not running on full productivity, it means that you're not fully exploiting the potential of your economy. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the, the poor thing. So theoretically, your productivity has to be at the level of at least about 50%. Okay. Which is about halfway. It's a very mm. neutral figure, fifty huh? percent. Mm. We can call it in more practical terms a break-even value. Okay. You know that what we the cost for producing something is more or less exactly what That's we same. get in. Yeah. Mm. We're not there. We're way below that. We are not in a break-even economy. Mm. So it means that it's costing us more to live than what we generate. Yeah. Now, you have to let mm. this turn around, turn over in your mind, <laughs> let it sink in. I'm making a very serious statement here. Mm. It's costing us more to live, and I use the word live, to describe the whole combined effect of the total economy yeah. than what we get in. Mm. And now immediately, you must ask me this common sense question, if it's costing us more, if we're running below break even, mm. where does this money come from? And that's the whole catch. We have to borrow it. Of course. The, our productivity is so low that the government cannot function and the national economy cannot function unless the government borrows mm. billions of billions of Namibia dollars every year. Mm, mm. And that's where our debt comes from. Mm. And the moment that process gains traction in your economy, your the value of your currency, currency slowly deteriorates. Yeah, yeah. And when the value of your currency deteriorates and you have to make payments in US dollars, mm -hmm. it means that you have to pay more and more and more of Nam more of and more Namibia dollars mm -hmm. to pay for whatever it is that you that you import. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can make up that deficit is by borrowing. Mm -hmm and usually we borrow in the capital market yeah. and that reduces the value, the exchange rate, so your currency, the, its value becomes less and less and less. You have to pay more and more of your own local dollars mm. and what do you call that thing? Inflation. Yeah. So in a roundabout way, a very large part of the inflation that, that we are suffering from now comes from the fact that our economy the productivity level in our economy is so low. Mm. But now you have to see this in context because we don't really determine mm. our own exchange rate. Mm. That is determined by South Africa. Mm. And the fact that 
the Namibia dollar is linked to the South African rand mm. means that when the rand depreciates, the dollar depreciates. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing we can do mm. about it. So, here again, it's one of those ting ting moments. If what you say is true, then where does this inflation come from? Mm. And this is the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. It comes from South Africa. Mm. And there's very little that you and I can do. You Almost know, nothing. <laughs> that is the sad thing. Yeah. So this inflation, our productivity is low, yes, mm. granted. But because of the larger structures in the economy, um, the inflation that we suffer from is generated by the low productivity, not here, in our neighbor. Yeah, yeah. And remember the beginning I said, it'll be difficult to convince any non-economic person that um, our low productivity is much less the cause of our inflation mm. than the low productivity in South Africa. Mm. But unfortunately, that is the truth. Yeah. If we want to, to start addressing inflation for the long term, mm. we know where it will really make a difference over 10 or 20 years and stay low, mm. not go above 2, 2.5% two maximum. We need to, first of all, solve all the problems in South Africa. Yeah. And you and I both know. Our hands are cast off. It's, it's not going to happen. <laughs> 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 we are so small compared to them. But again, at least that gives you some sort of consolation to mm. realize that although they are so much bigger than we are, mm. and we look at the troubles that we import from them, from them. and the inflation they cause mm. and the deterioration in the value of our money, mm. It, it puts them in perspective. Mm. They are in turn a tiny, tiny, tiny little cricket on yeah. the international uh-huh. scene. No, I can see that. It's interesting. It's yeah? very interesting indeed. And I hope that, uh, you know, our listeners did capture this moment and what was said and what we were talking about. But unfortunately, we have come to the end of this talk for today. You can, of course, meet, ag- meet us again next week. And for those who just tuned in, This was Econochet. Let's talk business with Mr. Daniel Steinman. Until next time.